Madame Bach to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Thank you. Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, ang pag-uusapan na naman natin ay simplifying rational algebraic expressions. So yung technique dito, bago tayo mag-proceed sa topic na to, dapat master nyo na kung paano mag-factor ng polynomials. Kasi kung hindi nyo pa master yung pag-factor ng polynomials, you'll be in trouble sa pagsasagot ng mga ganitong problem. So sa pag-simplify. So again, you must know how to factor polynomials completely. In that way, Madali nyo lang masasagot na yung pagsisimplify ng rational algebraic expression. Okay. So, when we are simplifying numbers, let's say for example, it deals with fraction again, we have 15 over 35. So, paano ba natin ito sinisimplify? So, yung ginagawa natin, di ba, we are listing all the factors and then kinakancel out natin yung magkakamukhang factors. So, in 15, alam natin na ang factors niya ay 3 times 5. Ang 35 naman, alam natin na ang factors niya ay 5 times 7. So, 3 times 5 is 15, 5 times 7 is 35, and then afterwards, cancel out lang natin yung mga magkamukhang factors. So, yung 5, magkamukha sila. So, ilalagay na lang natin dito na natira is 3 over 7. So, ayun yung kanyang simplified uh, form no? ng 15 over 35. How about in example number 2? In example number 2, we have 15AB over 21BC. So, paano natin ito uh, ifa-factor? So, again, listan natin yung factor ni 15, that's 3 and 5. 3 times 5 times AB. AB natin. So, 21 naman ay 3 and 7. So, we have 3 times 7. B, C. Then, cancel natin yung mga magkakamuka. Cancel natin yung 3. Cancel din. Ito pala. Yun. So, cancel natin yung B. Ang natira na lang ay cancel din yun. So, ang natira na lang sa atin ay 5 A over yung 7 at yung C. So, ito na yung simplified form niya. Okay. Example number 3. In example number 3, we have 6 minus 2x over x minus 3. So, una, factor muna natin yung 6 minus 2x. Ang common factor nila is 2. So, we have, it will become 3. 3 minus x over x minus 3. Bakit naging 3 minus x? Kasi, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative 2x divided by 2 is negative x. Okay, so pwede ba natin i-cancel yung 3 minus x kay x minus 3? Of course. Pero may gagawin tayo. Ilalabas natin yung negative. Negative nung part na to. Yung part na to, ilalabas natin yung negative niya para maging x minus 3 siya. Hindi kasi kamukha ng addition na meron tayong commutative property of addition na kahit magkabaligtad sila, the same ang magiging sagot natin sa pag-aad. In this case, hindi pwede. Kapag minus, kapag magkabaliktad na yung, yung uh, minuend and subtrahend, hindi na natin pwedeng makuha yung the same answer. So, ang gagawin muna natin ay kailangan natin siyang ma-equate. Um, ma so, kailangan maging positive tong x. Tingnan yung mabuti. So, dapat itong x, itong x maging positive, itong 3 maging negative. Kamukha nito. So, ang gagawin natin, mumultiply tayo ng negative 1. So, 2, maglalabas tayo ng negative 1. It will become negative 3 plus x over x minus 3. Yung 2, pwede na natin i-multiply kay negative 1. So, it will become negative. So, it will become, so it will become negative 2. Negative 3 plus x over x minus 3. Ayan. 
So, pwede natin i-rewrite si negative 3 plus x ng x minus 3. So, we have negative 2 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. So, cancel that out. Ang matitira na lang ay negative 2. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 2. Ayan. So, example number 4. Kita na example number 4. In example number 4, we have x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 4. So, uh, factor muna natin, the new, both the numerator and denominator, and then let's see kung meron tayong makakancel. In this example, yung, una nat yung numerator natin ay parehas na perfect cube. So, pwede natin siyang i-factor by kunin natin yung square root, ay yung cube root ng x cubed, which is x. And then, yung minus sign, retain lang natin. Kunin natin cube root ng 8, which is 2. And then, square daw natin yung first term. Yung middle term, yung first term, tsaka yung last term, multiply natin. And then, ilagay natin a plus. So, it will become 2x because x times 2 is 2x. And then, square natin yung last term. It will become 4. Divided by, yung nasa ilalim natin ay difference of 2 squares. So, sa difference of 2 squares, kinukuha lang natin yung square root nung dalawa. So, ang, ang square root ng square root ng x squared ay x. Square root ng 4 ay 2. So, and then plus, minus. Then afterwards, check natin kung may makakancel. So, ang natira na lang ay x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x plus 2. So, ito yung simplified form niya simplify na natin siya. So, let's have another example. So, siguro sa next next uh, sheet na lang para malaki yung space. So, let's have another example. Example number 5. So, in example number 5, we have x raised to 2a plus 4x raised to a plus 4 over x raised to 2a plus 5x raised to a, plus 6. So, dito sa part na to, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron siyang a as um, exponent or degree. So, since uh, parehas lang naman din siya nung exponent na squared or raised to 1, i-remove muna natin for a while. Again, i-remove muna natin for a while yung mga a. Tsaka na lang natin ibalik mamaya. So, we have, ang matitira na lang ay x squared plus 4x plus 4 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 6. Ayan. Then, afterwards, factor natin siya. Yung numerator natin is in a form of perfect square trinomial. So, sabi natin sa perfect square trinomial, get natin yung square root nung fir, yung unang term, um, Plus sign, get natin yung square root ng last term na 4, which is 2, and then square. Over, ito namang nasa ilalim is in a form of general trinomial. So, isip tayo ngayon ng um, factor ni 6 na kapag pinag-multiply ay 6, at kapag pinag-add ay 5. So, meron tayong 3 and 2. Alam natin na ang 3 times 2 is 6, and then 3 plus 2 is 5. So, pares positive. So, it will become, exp, um, gawin ko na tong factor, so x plus 2, kasi raised to 2 siya. So, x plus 2, para makita nyo mabuti, x plus 2 times x plus 3. So, cancel na lang natin yon Ang matitira na lang ay x plus 2 over x plus 3. So, ito yung simplified uh, form niya. Okay, another example. Let's have example number 6. Ah, sorry. Um, hindi pa doon nagtatapos kasi ilalagay natin yung degree niya na A. Ayan, wait lang. So, ilalagay natin dito yung A. Ilalagay din natin dito yung A. So, ang final answer natin ay x raised to A plus 2 over x raised to A plus 3. In number 6, we have x raised to 3A minus 27 over x raised to 2a plus 3x raised to a plus 
Okay, so mapapansin nyo yung numerator natin ay may a din ulit yung kanyang exponent, the same way dun sa denominator. So, i-rewrite lang muna natin siya for a while. Alisin natin yung mga a, so it will become x raised to 3 minus 27 ayan, over x squared plus 3x plus 9. So, it will become x minus 3 x squared plus 3x plus 9 ayan all over x squared plus 3x plus 9 ayan, so meron tayo ulit magkamuka ano yon so itong x squared plus 3x plus 9 and itong x squared plus 3x plus 9 so cancel na yon ang matitira na lang ay x minus 3, so yun yung kanyang simplified form so, I hope naintindihan nyo na ngayon kung paano tayo mag-simplify ng rational algebraic expression.